you then come to the printing of ballots. Ghana is one of the few countries in Africa that prints its ballots in-house. We, we are enjoined by law to provide the parties with details of every single pr printing house that is going to print our ballots. And we do this. And so from day one to the end, in fact, in some cases, even after, after the election, the parties are within the printing houses. They are monitoring their ballots. We provide them with the serial numbers of the ballots so they know that there's a range for each region. And therefore, if you go to a region and there's a ballot that is out of the range, you should be able to raise questions. This is the transparency of the process. They remain in the printing houses 24-7 until the ballots are packaged. And to add to it, when the ballots are packaged, the, the Electoral Commission puts its seal on the ballot, and so do the parties. They then accompany the commission and the police to the police armories where the ballots are kept. And there also, the parties have their agents waiting to receive these ballots, and they remain there until election day. We know how it works on election day that the ballot boxes are opened for all to see. Unlike countries in Africa where the voting is done inside in a building, ours is done in the full glare of the public, and any interested citizen can sit and observe the process from 7 a.m. to, is it 5, p 5 p.m., if they so wish. Prior to being at the Electoral Commission, I used to do that to go and visit many polling stations. And nobody stopped us from standing decently and observing the process. And you could do that all day if you so wish. But we know that the way it is done, the ballot boxes are open for all to see before the start of the registration. And at the end of the process, in the full glare of the public and the agents of the parties who are present, the ballots are poured onto the table, they are separated and sorted out, and they are counted in the full glare of the public and the party agents. They have a right to demand a recount twice. And if they are satisfied with it, they append their signatures. Where they are not satisfied, they state the reasons for their dissatisfaction. This, we then go to the constituency collation centers and the same process happens there. We go to the regional collation centers, the same process happens there. And all of these collation centers have the agents of the party who, re, who verify the processes, who inspect and make sure that everything is accurate and who append their signatures. Of course, Of course, at the polling stations, we all know that when the party agents sign on to the pink sheets, a copy is posted at the polling station. And the beauty of this process is that every media house and every citizen has the right to take photographs of these polling station results, which are the basis of the, the, the results. The polling station results are not changed. What we see at the polling stations Pasted on the wall forms the basis of the results that the chairperson announces. From the polling station, those results are sent to the collation, constituency collation centers. And the party agents are there. They are satisfied, it is collated, and it is put on the summary sheet. And the results collation sheet at the constituency. It is then moved to the regional collation centers. They also collate these things, they are satisfied, they put their signatures. So no results emanate from the head office of the Electoral Commission. Everything comes from bottom up. And the good news is that the media are enabled as a result of technology to take pictures of the polling station results across the country.